Yo, what's happening there, buddy? This is your guy, Dan Tanner, the bad boy of tech. And people, man, it's finally here. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Now, I'm not talking about the dope merch I got on, but it's available. The link is in the description. But I'm talking about, man, the all new Samsung One UI. And not just that, it came with Android Pie. So, man, I got the Pie and One UI on deck. Woo! Yes, sir, yes, sir. So, enough of me yapping. It's time to make it happen. Let's go. Well, all right, everybody, here we go, here we go. We're on my home screen of my Samsung S9 Plus. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. And people that five degrees up there, that is not an error or a glitch or anything like that. I'm in Chicago and it's literally five degrees. So yeah, it's colder than a hooker's heart outside. Real talk, man, oh man, oh man. But anyway, back to this UI. Now, Samsung say they designed the one UI to make it more easy to use with one hand because this phone right here, it's pretty damn big. It's like 6.2 or 6.3 inches or whatever. So in order to reach the top, it's a stretch, you know what I'm saying, for people with normal size hands and everything. But let me show you what they didn't did. Like when it comes to the dial and everything, all these function at the bottom, the keypad, the recents, the contacts, and the places used to be at the top. See, there's nothing up there. Only thing is up there is the search menu. But thanks to Android and everything, we can pull up our contacts via the numeric pad. That's what pisses me off about Apple. Apple, you see that? Y'all need to get on deck with that. Make it much, much more easier. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So yeah, the UI makes everything more easier to reach and everything. And it's a great, nice, clean look. All right, let's go to the next thing. In case you're wondering if it affects any other apps on the phone, so it makes those apps easy to use, I say yes, as long as it's a Samsung stock app or if you bought it from the Samsung Galaxy App Store. No problem at all. Let me show you what I mean. This Samsung S Notes app right here, check out the setup. Soon as you go in, it's pretty much blank at the top. There's the instructions right there, the prompt or whatever. Then at the bottom, you get that plus sign. So all you gotta do to create another note or a new note, hit that plus sign and get it popping. It makes it that much easier. Man, we can even take this to the text app. Yes, indeed, down at the bottom, the messages. Let's go. All you have to do is hit that right there and everything is right at the bottom. So this is truly a one-handed, one-thumb UI. Yes, indeed. Very, very great job, Samsung. I'm really feeling this. People, and this UI is it, moving mad swift, trust me. No doubt about it. No lag, no hiccups or anything. I know it's brand new, but I can instantly tell the difference from the other UI that I just upgraded from. Man, now let's get to the next section because there's some hidden goodies in it. Let's go. Now we're about to take this boy to the settings menu, pull down the shade, and I'm loving the new thing too, no doubt about it. Reminds me of the retro Samsung colors and everything, but it has that 2019 sauce on it. Very great job. All right, let's go to settings and let me show you something. For those who should always depend on the device manager to clear all your cash out and to keep your phone running good, well, I gotta show you they renamed it. It's called device care. So you go ahead and hit device care and everything. And inside of that right there, hold on, gotta load up. My phone is running excellent. But at the bottom you see, you got access to the battery optimization, storage optimization, and your memory optimization. Instead of it being called device manager, it's now called device care and it's still there. Yes, sir, yes, sir, no doubt about it. It's a wonderful thing, man. And another feature that I, I like that they added, let me go back to the settings and everything, that they added right here is the scheduling to restart your phone. Now, instead of restarting your phone for just one day out of the week, you can schedule it for how many ever days that you like. So for me, I like to do it like twice a week to keep this boy running cool, you know what I'm saying? So you can definitely go into your settings and make that happen. So that's a very, very good look, man, oh man, oh man. And I'm really loving the overall new structure of the settings menu. It's mad easy to reach. One thumb, one handed, yes indeed. And it's very, very easy to read, no question about it. And also, this time with the One UI, they included a dark mode, but since I'm using the theme, I can't really show you. But as you can see, it's on the list, it's grayed out because I'm using the theme, but if you're not using the theme, and you wanna go ahead and take advantage of 
having everything black, even your apps and everything, man, turn on that night mode, pff, it'll change your life. It's pretty damn hot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, oh man. Now we're on the used app screens. Now these are the two apps that are active and everything. Now previously, before the update and everything, it used to be two rectangles in the right hand corner. You used to hit that or whatever, and, uh, and it'll instantly go into multitask mode. Nah, not this time, pimpin'. Let me show you what's up. What you gotta do is, let me show you. You gotta hit the icon of the app and everything, and as you can see, a sub menu pops up. It has app info, open and split screen view, open and pop up view, and lock this app. So since you wanna go ahead and go multitask and do two things at one damn time, like I like to do, you wanna hit the open split screen mode right there. And all you gotta do, man, bam, that's it. And you're ready to go. That's the only thing that changed with the multitasking, man. But I truly wish they would've left it the way it was because it was much easier to access and everything. But hell, I'm not complaining, it still works. Yes sir, yes sir. Well, all right, everybody, that just about does it for this one. So if you like what you saw and like what you heard, please give your guy a thumbs up because that's official. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if you have not yet subscribed to my channel to feel the whole swag and madness of Dan Tanner, then do that, too, because that's official, too. All right, everybody, get money, get respect, and enjoy your tech. Be easy.